Well, love and har- marriage Huntsville still has me tuning in and I'm still entertained. So we start up this episode. We basically Kiki taking the drug test. She comes back negative, but I thought she was on methadone. So why was methadone um negative? That was the only question I had with that, but I'm happy she's negative. Um, I've always said just because someone is acting up doesn't mean they're on drugs. If you were a dramatic person before you started using drugs, you're going to be a dramatic person even if you get clean. So always saying, oh, she has to be back on drugs is so freaking irresponsible for the network, for the friends, for the families involved, for real. But we go to Tisha Mar, so I guess they are planning a beach vacation that he doesn't even want to go to. But Tisha obviously uses the child to guilt trip him. And he's like, okay, I'll go, I'll go. But I'm sure he's probably going to go for a couple of days and come back because that Negro acts like he does not want to be around them. Like it's pathetic. Then he calls Tisha out for disagreeing with Mel. I thought that was funny because literally everybody was like sunning Tisha during that stupid meeting talking about the Espo. But when Mel spoke up, she had a problem. And the fact that Marceau is defending Mel and everyone keeps saying how Marceau definitely has a thing for Mel was like comical to me. Like you can't make this shit up. But there we go. Then we go to, I think the next scene was Stormy and um, Kiki. And Kiki is like, they're moving because of their son's athleticism. But then Tiffany is spreading all these rumors talking about basically they are trying to cheat the education system because in America, you can't move from district to district without living there. But they are actually moving, which makes it like, Tiffany, why do you even care? Like, it's so crazy. She just had a baby, but she seems the most unhappy human ever. Like, why did you even have the baby? And her husband didn't even want this baby. But she seems so unfulfilled. Then the whole interview with Carlos King, acting like she's better than someone. Like, girl. Girl. Like, I'm just thinking, why does she even think she's better than them? She hasn't proven to be richer than them. Kiki is very educated. She was a professor before her drug use thing happened. So... Where is, is it money? Is it status? Like, why do you feel like you're better than them? Tiffany will have to explain it to me during the, the reunion because I do not understand. Then Mel gathers the girls, um, the originals, Tisha and Kimmy for exercising because they want to talk post barbecue because Tisha has basically been in hiding. And if you've been on the internet the past few weeks, you've seen a whole bunch of audio come to confirm or to allegedly confirm or so cheating. And I don't think she has a defense for it. But what irritated me is that she keeps running away from the conversation. Like, girl, have the conversation. Because Mel was saying, hey, that barbecue made no sense. Like, did you guys have a disagreement? Did you guys have a conversation before? Which makes more sense. Because why are you ignoring her? But she didn't want to address what was talked about offline on screen. Which is ridiculous. Because you're supposed to be filming a reality. And when Mel went through her shit, say what you will, that woman discussed that crap on camera. As pathetic as it was, even going back to him and leaving him again. So the fact that Tisha is continuously refusing to discuss anything is like, I'm hoping Carlos like sticks to it, doesn't make the reunion about himself and actually asks the questions people want to know. But we will see when the reunion comes out. This final thing was the funniest because... Martel carries his body over to Nell and um, Chris Fletcher's house, talking about um, bringing them some wine because because they had the family reunion that evening, blah, 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 blah. But Nell is like, boy, your wife is throwing a party to change her name and I'm going. I'm just giving you a heads up. Immediately, his whole soul left his body. He's like, she's changing her name. Like, Negro, you guys have been divorced for two years. Like, if she's changing her name, why do you care? Why are you so upset? But Martel is so pathetic, he can't even see his front right in front of him. He's talking about, well, she didn't do anything with the Rogers name. Well, you didn't do anything with the hold name. Mel made the hold name what it is today. And she's gone and she's dropping the hold because she don't want to make you great no more. And he's so upset about the wrong thing. He's talking about Mel cheated first. Initially, it was, oh, she couldn't give me fellatio correctly. Then when they were separated was when mel dated other people because she's a baddie like why would she be there not dating while you're doing your own thing like he cannot acknowledge or he is in denial because it hurts so much that he ruined his beautiful family for a girl that i don't even think finished college for a girl that we do not know what she does she just stares at the camera flips her hair has no insight has 
no depth. I think he just cannot fathom the fact that he did that to himself. And I know, yeah, lately they've been on Instagram and TikTok trying to prove to us that they're together. We all know Martel is homeless currently based on the show. <laughs> allegedly so we get that he's with arian for a place to shelter but baby on twitter they said once he gets that first and last month's rent he is out once he gets that security deposit together like she arian is a joke to me and i think that's what hurts him because he can't believe he destroyed such a beautiful thing like mel is the reason why this show is even on own do you understand the lady is a hustler She's the one that had the builder's license or whatever they needed for their business. She's the one that did the lecture. She's the one that, I mean, when she left, she's the one that could buy a house and Martel is going from couch to pillows every, every other week. So him being mad that she's changing the name is so short-sighted. I'm like, why do you care? But is that control? And he cannot believe he's lost control. Men like this run because ain't nothing good coming from somebody like this. Look at the pathetic face and everything he's done since Mel has not gone anywhere. And he can't believe he's, he's, he's disgust for himself. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think later.